Hi, this is Josh from Shama Sandals, and today I am going to be reviewing Lem's Boulder Boot, their leather version. So, uh, first thing I wanted to say about these boots is these are some boots that I have wanted personally to own for a very long time. Um, my brother, uh, we've all, everybody in my family's kind of been into the minimalist footwear thing for probably you know a decade now and my brother he got a pair of the lems boulder boots i want to say five years ago or something like that and they looked super comfy and even though like you know we make sandals here at shama sandals and i spend most of the year in sandals there are a few months because we this is the workshop and it's it's outside and even though this is santa cruz it can get freezing cold in the winter um, especially when you're sitting all day you know, uh, in the workshop. So um, in the winter time, I'm all about the minimalist footwear, but it's really been hard for me to find a shoe, uh, a boot that fits well and is a minimalist uh, uh, boot and a good minimalist option. Cause I'm, I'm really picky. It's gotta be a great minimalist. Uh, it's gotta feel really good as a minimalist uh, shoe for me to, put them on instead of my sandals. In any case, I went and I ordered a pair of these years ago and I, I believe back then, it's hard for me to remember exactly, but I think they only made a size 13 at that point. Or maybe it was even a 13 and a half, I can't remember. But the, uh, the size that they made was just a little bit too small. That's one of the knocks on Lems, I gotta tell you, is they are gonna run a little bit on the small side. So you might wanna order a full size up from what you normally do, at least a half size, maybe a full size. Well, in any case, I bought the shoes. They looked great. I was so excited to wear them. I could be in the club now, have some nice uh, Lem's Boulder boots and I'd, my feet would be warm during the winter. I put them on and they were just a little bit too tight. And so I have really big feet. I have a size, not super big, but 13 and a half. It's a, I'm a true 13 and a half. So a lot of times I have to get it um, if they have a 13 and a half, depending on how they size it, I've, I've got to have one of those. Or a lot of times I'm just wearing 14s. Well, the deal was they were just literally like an eighth of an inch or maybe a quarter inch too short. And I put them on and I'm like, oh, this is so frustrating because they felt great. I could tell they were a great boot. My brother loved them. Uh, his wife had some, she loved them. And I was just so disappointed that me with my big abnormally sized feet weren't going to get to enjoy it in any case i looked into it again this last year and I, I think they've changed the sizing a little bit or added more sizes so now there's a, a 14 and even a 15 i'll talk about that in just a second but i got them and so these are the boots i got these probably at the end of last summer i want to say august september and i want you to know that i have treated these boots harshly it was never my intention to go easy on them. So this is a review of uh, some boots that I have been wearing for months now. This isn't just like, I got them out of the box and I looked at them. I've been wearing them to do all kinds of things, to uh, build trails down below my house. Uh, I've used the chainsaw in them. Uh, I've taken them hiking. I do like work on our, we have a dirt road out here. And so I'm doing work on the road anything and everything i'm doing it in the boots and so this is what i want to say about the boots um i have to admit i'm a little bit biased because i think they're great i'm only going to be able to knock them in a few spots so just know that that's what's coming as a very glowing review all right so the first thing i want to say what they are great for so they're basically great for any activity that you can imagine wearing like your most comfortable shoes um, whether and i'm not kidding about this they almost function as a slipper they're so comfortable okay and they're so light that you could almost substitute them for your slippers which i do basically from time to time i'll explain that in a moment too but um, they're great for yard work they're great for um, going around town um, you know, just errands in town when you want to keep your feet warm. Um, they're really good for hiking, especially as somebody who's committed to the minimalist thing. And um, they're a great 
uncompromising minimalist piece of footwear. So they've got that going for them. Um, let's see some other things, just any, anything, you know, around town, you want to be comfortable, anything in the winter, keep your feet warm. These are great. They're really great. And here's why they're great. So the first thing is I keep bringing up this idea of minimal. So let's take minimalist footwear and divide it into three categories. The first one is the weight. Like you don't want your minimalist footwear to be so heavy that it's, there's clearly a lot there. You want as little as possible. Well, these are light. I have a, again, these are size 14 and they weigh about, they weigh exactly according to the scale that I just put it on a few minutes ago, one pound. So one pound for a full size high rise boot is pretty light in my opinion. And I have to say that when I put them on my feet, they really feel comfortable. You hardly know they're there. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that minimalist footwear has to, uh, we don't want to have any arch support. And, and so we're thinking about the sole. There's no arch support here. This, this uh, edge of the sole is actually a little bit deceptive because the, the spot where your foot rests is actually probably lower than the top of this sole. So this isn't like a big thick wedge. This is actually uh, a lot thinner. In fact, the blown portion of the sole that they, um, on this is only nine millimeters thick. So nine millimeters, and then you have a three millimeter insole. Uh, that means that, you know, you've got like a 12 and a half, and I think there's maybe another little piece of material in there. You have 12 and a half, 13 millimeters. That's like half an inch of material, and that's not too much. That's the same thickness as the Shama Mountain Goats, and it's, it's a really good thickness when you want just a little bit more than super minimal, okay? The next thing is the shape. The shape of the, of the toe box of the shoe is great. There's plenty of room for your toes. Um, and, and that's a big deal because a lot of, we'll call it modern footwear or traditional footwear, they're gonna never, they're never gonna give you that much room for your big toe. It's always gonna be squished. And then they're gonna try and point your foot, your toes towards the middle for some really weird reason. I don't know why it seems like everything's like that, but not with the limbs, a lot of room for the big toe, plenty of room for the smaller toes. So your feet are nice and comfy. Uh, another thing I really like about these and the design that makes them great is the mock toe. So the mock toe is wherever you see on a boot where it's raised up like that, right? This section is, I guess, like a moccasin and it's sewed together, but that gives you a lot of vertical space, a lot of vertical room for your feet. Your feet don't feel cramped in these up and down. They're awesome. So there's, there are those features. They're not too thick. They're lightweight. They give you a lot of room for your toes and there's no arch support. And let me tell you, they feel so comfortable. As you can tell, I really like these things. Uh, I bought, uh, these are mine. A bunch of my family members have them friends have them. Everyone who has them loves them. My wife, I bought her a pair for Christmas. She loves them. So I'm really positive on these things. And, and you guys over at uh, LEMS are doing a great job. Uh, I'm not <laughs> attacking you. I got to have some negative things here. And so these would be like my, what would make them not great? Um, so I told you what they're good for. I think that there are some limitations to these. Now, as somebody who is so committed to the minimalist thing, these are like the thickest shoes I have in my lineup. Um, for those of you that aren't used to minimalist footwear, 13 millimeters and the bottom sole being this like squishy EVA type foam might not be enough for you. Like I'm really interested in getting feedback from the ground when I walk and, and, the, um, and the soling material being flexible. And these things are really, that was another thing I didn't say, they're really flexible. Um, so you have to walk more skillfully, more carefully in these, but they allow you to do it. So that's, it's kind of a plus. What I'm getting at is it's going to be a different experience and there's just, there are trade-offs you have to make. So the, the more this is a softer type of sole and the more flexible it is, well, it's going to offer less protection and you have to be careful where you step, right? And I'm thinking, especially 
if you're on big chunks of gravel or if you're doing heavy construction. I think these are great around the workshop and I personally, I would wear these to frame a house, but I would just be more careful on some of the sharper objects and things like that. These are not steel toed boots. So those, there's those limitations. If you're not used to minimalist footwear um, and you haven't gone through a time of transitioning and, and building up the strength in your feet, I would maybe refrain from taking them backpacking like instantly. You should start and like make sure you can do a four or five mile walk in them before you try and walk for four days, you know, with a huge pack on your back. So there, there's those kinds of limitations. And, uh, but there are a lot of things they're really good at. A couple of things that I don't particularly like about them. Uh, I'm not super stoked on the leather. I think the leather is passable. It's okay. It's a semi aniline. Uh, and I had to wash these for you guys for this review. I didn't wash them, I, I mean, I cleaned them off and I put conditioner and all that. I think they're looking really good and they've broken in really well. It's just that the leather is a little on the stiff side and uh, it's not the highest quality I've ever seen. So it gets a little bit of a um, demerit for that. The price, 150 bucks, sometimes they're on sale. Um, you know, ultimately price comes down to, in my mind, the use you get out of a product. And so it's really, in my mind, this is worth it. Like where else can you get a boot that'll keep your foot warm and dry in the winter and feel as comfortable and minimal as this? Not too many places. So kind of got to go with it. The price, 150 bucks, eh, right there. Um, and then the last one is these guys, uh, this company is an American company. They, um, they're out of Boulder, Colorado, I believe. And they're cool. They make a ton of cool shoes. The only other thing I would, uh, uh, give them a demerit for is made in China. You know, it would be so great if not only were they designed here and marketed here, but made here, you know, I would really personally love to see a renaissance of American manufacturing. Um, so support American work and jobs and all that. Uh, in any case, it's a cool product and those are kind of the areas where I would um, ding it. So in conclusion, I have to say I really like the Lems Boulder Boot. Uh, they've done a great job. I think the thing I appreciate the most besides the experience of walking and hiking in them is that uh, the Lems company has not really compromised the minimalist design here. And that's a big deal. I think a lot of companies, they do the minimalist thing for a little while and then they just start breaking away. And, and these boots are totally minimalist and they're comfortable and they're great. They're great to hike in and I really recommend them. Um, I have a few minor quibbles with them and just, just know there are trade-offs, right? You could have a harder, more protective sole, but you'd have less flexibility and you would have um, a heavier shoe. You know, the, those are just the realities of picking and choosing uh, what you want to do. But for, uh, for most of you out there, these are going to be a really cool boot, something that's so comfortable you might even ditch your slippers for. So, all right, talk to you next time. Happy trails. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.